I always wanted to own a Formaps SLA printer, but they usually go for around three to five thousand dollars. So I was even more excited when I saw one for just under two hundred dollars, including shipping on eBay. Of course, this price has its reasons, which were that the Form One has discontinued supports by Formaps, which makes it extremely hard to get any replacement parts from the manufacturer as well as a major spillage of resin over some of the components and the printer was printing circular shapes rather oval. Despite of all those problems, I went ahead and bought it and two days later I had it on my desk. The first thing I did was to clean off some of the resin of the outside of the printer using isopropyl alcohol. After opening it up and powering it on, I immediately noticed that the build platform wasn't able to move due to tried resin on the linear rails. So I disassembled the printer and soaked the rail in rubbing alcohol and I also started to clean the bearings. After I put everything back together, the build platform was moving smooth again and I had to face the next problem, which was that the printer didn't come with a resin tank, which is required for printing, and due to discontinued support by Formlabs, it was really hard to acquire. In fact, the only way I can lay my hands on one was to order it straight from the manufacturer in China, which meant I had to wait at least a month before I can print anything due to shipping time. In the meantime, I decided to make my own resin tank, which can be mostly FDM 3D printed. You only need a fab film which can be purchased fairly cheap off of Amazon and some M5 nuts and bolts. After printing all the parts, the next step is to pre-cut the holes for the bolts in the fab film. After that, you need to apply some silicone to the bottom and top part and bolt the two together. Make sure to only tighten them hand tight as long as the silicone hasn't fully dried. After the silicone is dry, you can tighten them all the way. If you own a Form 1 and like to give it a try yourself, all the files you need are linked in the video description. Thanks for watching. Bye.